Hi, I'm Dan Neal, and we're here in Half Moon Bay, California, to drive this car, the new Mercedes-Benz SLS, the Gullwing. At least Mercedes desperately hopes you'll think it's the Gullwing, that is the heir to the 1955 300 SL Gullwing. But that car was a revelation, a stroke of genius, based on a fantastic race car decades ahead of its time. This car, I'm not really sure. So far, it kind of strikes me as a toaster. But the day is still young, and I'm prepared to be persuaded. So here we are in Watsonville, California, halfway through our ride and drive. My impression of the car, it's like trying to carve a turkey with a medieval broadsword. But the car is so powerful, so cool, so exciting. It makes a corner to corner transition so, so very well. And when you get on the gas, there's just this ridiculous amount of torque. You can't help but love it. With the notable exception of the DeLorean, a major manufacturer hasn't built a car with gullwing doors in many, many years. Why is that? Well, you can blame the government. In fact, Mercedes equipped this vehicle with explosive bolts to allow passengers to escape an overturned vehicle. So, does that mean the doors are safe? Well, I don't know. I'll show you what I mean. When I want to get in this car, this is what I do. I naturally sit down, reach up, to get the door and pull it down and ah! ow, 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 even kidding around that hurts. I gotta tell you, I think this car will remove fingers like a Black & Decker table saw. And now, Statistics Corner. This car is powered by a mid-front mounted, naturally aspirated, dry sump lubricated, 6.2 liter dual overhead cam V8 engine. Uh, it produces 563 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. In the back, a seven-speed dual-clutch transaxle. Put it all together and the car goes from zero to 62 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds, zero to 124 miles per hour in less than 12 seconds, which is a super pass at any drag strip you care to name. It is electronically limited to a 197 mile per hour top speed, which could put you at a disadvantage in Los Angeles. Now. Cost. Well, Mercedes is figuring about 175 to 200,000, which is about, oh, half what the SLR cost. And so in terms of the value, it's fantastic. Why so cheap? Well, because Mercedes is building this car by itself. It's not bringing in McLaren, so it doesn't have to pay Ron Dennis's lunch bill. They're passing the savings on to you. So in conclusion, is this car the heir to the 300 SL Gullwing? No. That car was a revelation, a miracle. This car is a product, but a very good product. It's fast, it's beautiful, uh, it sounds like the five liter Mustang that God made, and it beats the pants off the former Mercedes McLaren SLR. So I say, buy with confidence, rich guys. For the LA Times, I'm Dan Neal.